Hi guys, this is my oxyacetylene welding gear. Really useful, as you know, for welding and heating jobs. Um, you're just getting that extra bit of heat that can be really useful. You'll also know how hard it is to get these bottles now um, and how expensive they can be. These companies want, want you to um, sign contracts for years, uh, leave big deposits on the bottles and for the occasional use, um, the odd little blob of weld or heating the odd bolt up, it's just not worth it. The oxygen is a little bit easier to get, as you know, uh, and you can use medical oxygen as well. Or an alternative is to use those little canisters, which are a little bit more expensive, but if you're only using them for occasionally for the odd job, it doesn't really matter, does it? The acetylene is a bit harder to get and there's all these rules as far as transporting it and storing it and uh, it's just not worth it. Um, so what I'm going to use when this is run, runs out, uh, which is not too long now, I won't be replacing it with another acetylene bottle. Um, I'm actually using uh, the propane bottles and uh, if you look at one of my other videos as well, I actually use map gas as well with the oxygen which is another good alternative. So if you don't know already the uh, acetylene gauges are exactly the same, it's the same left hand thread and they'll screw straight onto the propane bottle. We're using the same oxyacetylene welding kit, the exact same kit to oxypropane weld. Um, the only thing you might need is one little thing which I'm going to show you now. It's this little L-shaped adapter um, depends what type of bottle you've got but I needed one of these because I like the gauge to sit upright so I can read it accurately uh, so I bought this little L-shaped adapter uh, for that reason I'll just take that off now I'll show you the adapter so there's the little adapter guys I've put a link to these in the description um, but sometimes when using the propane bottle um, you might need an, a little adapter not necessarily an L shape but uh, certainly you might need some kind of uh, a, an, an extender and I'll show you for why now this is the reason why sometimes you might need uh, an adapter an L shape or an extender um, because the neck of the bottle is just stopping the gauge from going in. It just depends on your gauge where the where this outlet comes out um, and the shape of your flashback arrester. So you, you'd want to just extend it to there with a straight extender or I think it's a lot nicer to have the gauges upright like that with an L-shaped adapter like mine um, so you can read the gauges a lot better. Just screw this adapter on with some of the uh, sealant tape. Then we'll screw the gauge on as well. Sitting it in a nice upright position and away from the neck of the bottle giving you plenty of room. So that's all on, ready to go. So that's all on, ready to go. Just turn that on. Turn the oxygen on as well. You see it's all still exactly the same gear that I use for oxyacetylene welding. Same same gauges, same hoses, same sa sapphire torch. Um, like I said, all it is that you might need is a little adapter because this uh, part of the bottle gets in the way. And always use your flashback arresters. Okay, so now I'm gonna light the propane. There you go. It's uh, a little bit of a a cleaner flame than the acetylene there's not as much soot coming off it and uh, I'm going to add some uh, oxygen now for the heat 
there you go guys what a beautiful little hot flame that is and again like I said I'm using the same sapphire torch the same hoses uh, the same gauges on the uh, propane which I used on the acetylene same oxygen uh, gauge there uh, it all screws on and use it in exactly the same way but uh, like I said always use flashback arresters and look at that what a beautiful hot flame that is there you go guys now look how hot that gets look at that is that good or what okay I'm going to show you melting a welding rod now thanks very much for watching guys uh, please give me a little like and subscribe to the channel uh, and if you want to see me welding with oxygen and map gas please check out my other videos